sorry guys. So, this is a van. I paid what? 50 euro. And a uh, hey little boy. What my plan to do is, because I realise paying rent is a bit of a bitch. I'm like, let's put it this way, I'm living in, I was living in Ashburn, uh, paying 500 euro a month for a room. It's a room, I was sharing with six other people in the house. Not the best. But, I decided, how can I do this? How can I live comfortably? Warmish from 18 up. So I bought a van. Basic as things at the moment. A few things wrong with it, but hey, that's what happens. So my plan is put the spare wheel away. My plan is to um kind of do a mini conversion of it. It's not gonna be immaculate. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the cheap because I don't have much money either. Who has money these days? But um yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll show you around if you want to follow me. Completely basic thing, it even has the, uh, the old rolly windows, so pretty much nothing to get wrong. 1.9 non turbo, so back off and go wrong. Start. Yo, she's a wee little tractor of a yoke, but she did a job. So, over the next couple of videos, I'll be showing you guys how to convert it, how to kind of live comfortably in it for no rent. So, as you saw in just my the last clip there, that I bought the van, I was showing you around it. This is like I, I had to buy some water, as you can see here. If you want to think, it looks a bit messy now, but in the next couple of videos, it's going to be nice and organised. Of course, you need a spare wheel, and of course, the almighty beer. Um, right. So, what you can do, the guy bought. I've camped all my life with my friends, it's generally acting the maggot, and um, so I've accumulated stuff over the years. Uh, now, this one, for example, just want to leave there, mate. Um, I got this from Halfords a couple of years back, actually. Um, Come on, it was like 50 quid or something, but you can get them cheaper in some other camping shops. Now right, right at the moment, I'm getting some tea ready. Wait for a meal on AJ there. Um, so we get some nice tea ready. So as you can see, it's a gas thing here, and it's oh, very hot. <laughs> the gas, if you're ever going to use these, make sure it's outside. You can't really use it in the van, because if the flame goes out, the whole place will sink a gas. You're going to have a bad time. Um, yeah, but it does a job, and we're going to enjoy the tea, and we'll... We'll get back to you in the next clip with a nice cup of tea. Tea's made as you can see there. And uh, boy grabs it nice. Like usually most of the time, every time me and the lads are out on the spin, or I just generally acting the prick, we'd have to if we wanted a cup of tea, we'd have to pull over at a garage if it was open, uh, get a nice cup of tea. But now I can still go on my merry spins and when when this is looking a lot nicer, hop into the kitchen area and uh, yeah, enjoy a nice cup of tea. But <sighs> I want to know a bit of a tip for you. I'll give you a bit of a tip here. Don't, when you're shopping with a friend, don't make jokes when you're, um, when you're trying to buy milk. Because uh, you end up buying uh, fresh Irish cream instead. So that's what's in it at the moment. <laughs> but, like troopers, carried on and it's actually not that bad. Uh, I wouldn't suggest it, but it's not that bad. And we forgot the sugar. Yeah, we forgot the sugar as well, but um, nothing wrong with putting a little bit of sugar left out of your diet. But, I mean, uh, never mind, a perfect diet. But, uh, no. But I'm actually really looking forward to the future in this. And uh, what I'll be doing is, if I can do things easily, which is my plan to see how easy it can, it can be done. Um, you guys, if you want, you can take advice from it. Um, do your own. And let's put it this way, uh, my rent was 500 a month uh, I'm gonna be saving 500 a month and stuff like that yes I, I, I have a car as well but I'll probably get rid of that and uh, just be using the van and I've always paid for the car anyway so basically my savings is still gonna be 500 a month but well, here's to the future see you in the next video guys well that's the story guys this is uh, night number one in the van Um now it's not glorious at the moment it's literally kind of a foam, like one of them foam camping mattresses and a duvet because my sleeping bag is <laughs> in my storage locker when I was moving all my stuff. Um, I got the storage locker for a good price. It was, um, I think it's like 80 euros or something for the month. Think about it, it's 
probably I'd say it's not that bad. It's in, I do I did have a lot of stuff, a lot of crap I've accumulated. Uh, but look, here's one thing. Nice uh, van warming party or something like that. A little sleepover, nice bottle of Heineken. <sighs> it's lovely. Uh, cook myself some beans. Um, what else did I have? I had like bread and a couple other bits. Not the most nutritious thing in the in the world, but it's all I had at the time. Um, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some shopping tomorrow. But I'll give you an idea what it looks like now. Um, need me. Right, so here's uh, my little pillow. Maybe a little foam mattress thing. Like, yeah, it's not glorious at the moment, but hey, it'll do until I get everything else set up. But uh, I got this cool little light. Uh, I got it in Halford. Actually, I don't think there's another setting in it. Give me a second, where's that button? D -d 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 -d. But um, yeah, but so far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, Just basically, I don't know where the fuck this thing is. There we go. There we go. Ah, plenty of light now. Yeah. So um, yeah. So far, I'm actually really enjoying it. Again, I got this. I got this van that um, me and my mate Jamie just named Marlon. For some reason, don't know why. Say hello to Marlon. Three hundred and fifty euros it cost me. Uh, it has DOE uh, for another two months, but I gave it a good look over and I, I, I say one or two little bits, a couple of bulbs and uh, maybe a quick service or something. I say she'll pass a lot of butter. But um yeah, so I'm gonna finish my lovely lovely beer. Uh I'll have a pee. That's the one thing God do because um pee before you go to bed, even if you don't really need to, just do it. If you're if you're planning on living in a van or a camper van or something like that, better off because there's nothing worse than even at home, you know yourself, when you're nothing worse when you're absolutely comfortable. And then you wake up and you're like, Oh my god, I gotta pee. Then you go, mm, will I hold it with the Maybe I'll piss the bed, maybe I won't. No. Go for a pee. Before you go. Yeah, yeah so this is night number one. I'll let you know how it is in the morning. Good night, guys. Morning, guys. So, that was night number one in the van. Um, it was actually pretty good. Um, I'm actually very comfortable. I can stretch out in this van. Um, um, nice. I would have preferred my lovely, lovely uh, sleeping bag, but the duvet was just fine. Um, yeah, it didn't, come, it didn't get too cold at all. Um, the weather was actually okay uh, last night. It wasn't that cold, but uh, I say if it gets close to the winter, I'm probably gonna put like insulation uh, in the in the van, or um, I'm gonna put a bit of wood on that, but I make it look all pretty and nice. Um, yeah, so I have a bit of milk and I have some brassy, so I'm gonna have me uh, breakfast now in a few minutes. Uh, I'll go on till the um, jeez, I'm knackered. I think I need to get a coffee, definitely. Right, go on, see you in the next video, guys. Bye. -bye.